Hello and welcome to Hardworld. Today I want to walk you through the basics of the helicopter, or as it's called in game, the Mozzie. In game, like with any other vehicle, you are going to find vehicle wrecks, which you can either destroy with the vehicle wrench or use parts on to complete. Uh, when you find one, you will probably find it in this state without the fuel, sometimes with the fuel, sometimes with one part, as it is with all the other vehicles. And what you will need to complete the helicopter is one tail rotor, one engine, and one main rotor. And as opposed to all the other vehicles, you will need a V gas instead of the normal fuel, which is made at the Tritanium workbench uh, from one gas, one animal fat and one orange, not moldy, normal orange. Helicopters can be found in mostly any town, however I find that uh, some of them are unreachable and so the easiest towns to get them from, in my opinion, are those that you can see there in the distance, those with sort of a, the smaller one with a tower in the middle where I find the helicopters to spawn the most and they're easy, easily reachable as well there. No doubt if you've clicked on this video, you've probably already tried to fly one of these helicopters and found out that they are a bitch to fly. They are really hard to fly. Um, and the basics of flying the helicopter are, well, sort of easy, but they are hard to execute. There are basically two modes of control. Um, you have first the arrow keys, or not the arrow keys, the WASD to fly the helicopter and second the mouse, and you will need both together in order to fly it successfully. You use W to go up or provide upward thrust, you provide, uh, use S to provide downward thrust or to go down faster, you use A to ro uh, rotate left, and you use D to rotate right around your own axis of course. And the mouse is used for tilt control, that means moving your mouse forward, will tilt the helicopter forward and thus you will move forward if you keep W pressed. Moving your mouse backwards will make you tilt backwards and if you keep uh, the W key pressed you will move backwards. Tilting to the right will make your helicopter tilt to the right and that means you will move to the right. And if tilting it to the left will make you move to the left. The thing about these is that they are very, very sensitive, so make only very small adjustments and not haptic. The very important part about the helicopter is that you stay cool, calm and collected and don't make fast movements. I also advise, if you can, if you have a mouse that you can do that on, is to, while flying, turn down your mouse sensitivity by a lot. Okay, now that you theoretically know how to fly the helicopter, it is time to get into the practicalities. To fly it, you will need to get into the driver's seat, obviously. And instantly the motor will spin up. Now, to lift off, you would simply have to press W. However, I do not advise, especially when you first fly a helicopter, to straight away do this. And probably you're also in first person, so press F2 to switch into third person because it's a lot easier. To lift off without risking that you make a mouse movement accidentally, I advise you to use Alt for free lock camera. That will lock in your current mouse position and will allow you to lift off completely straight. So I'm pressing Alt and now W and as you can see that makes me lift off very nice and straight. I will continue to keep Alt pressed and I stop pressing W and as you can see I'm still going up slightly and now only going uh, down slowly. So not pressing W doesn't instantly mean you stop lose thrust, uh, st uh, you, yeah, you don't get thrust anymore, you just go down slowly. If I want to go down faster, 
I can press S as you can see. However, for the beginning, uh, I don't think that is necessary. So if you first drive a helicopter, that might be one of the things you want to do. Just press Alt, go up, go down and see whether you can just by going back down without having done anything, try to land it. Just before you reach the ground, tap the W button as well a few times, so you can do that. Okay, next you will try to find how to actually steer this thing, so to take off again, press W again, uh, sorry, press Alt, and press W to get up. And since you want loads of space to actually possibly correct some of your mistakes, if you sort of get out of control, you will want to keep pressing W for the first time a bit until you get up nice and high. And then you can toy around with the other buttons. While still pressing Alt, you can, for instance, use the D button to see how the helicopter reacts to that. And then maybe the A button. And after you feel a little bit comf uh, comfortable with that, you can let go of the Alt key. If you do that, first nothing will happen as long as you don't touch your mouse, because it will always snap to that position after you stop pressing Alt. And then you can start by, for instance, tilting the helicopter forward, all while keeping W pressed, and do it slightly, very, very gently. And as you can see, the helicopter will tilt forward slightly, and as you do that, you can also see it will start moving forward. And then very slowly, you can try to tilt it back again, all while keeping the W key pressed completely, so that you always have enough altitude. And then you can, if you want, try to tilt it all the way backwards a bit, so that you can see how it goes backwards. Don't, for in the beginning, don't tilt it too much, just a bit, so that you get a hang of it. Alright, if after you've done that, you can experiment a little bit with the side, and once again, very, very gently, only go to the side, and as you can see, it moves to the side. Then you can build it right back, and go to the other side, and try that. After you feel comfortable with that, you can try, for instance, doing a bit of uh, both. So you could, for instance, try to go to the side and forward, all while keeping it nice and gentle. And if you tip too far, don't immediately panic and do quick movements. Try to still, even if you are too far over, do slight movements only. Okay, so, taking off is the easy part, landing is the hard part. So how do you land? Well, the same thing as for first, you do it very slowly and controlled, and the important part is to find yourself an area which is nice and big, where you have loads of space, and also where there's probably not too many hills because those get in the way. Also since it is really quite hard to see below you, I very much advise not to fly backwards but to fly forwards while landing. Because looking behind you and looking down is very very hard. And just ease off the W key when you want to get down and try to get a more or less straight descent without movement for the beginning but always make sure to keep your surroundings in account so that you can quickly press the W key to get back up or to make adjustments and as soon as you get lower to the ground and you can actually see the ground you can start tapping the W key a little bit if you don't feel comfortable yet so that you have more time to look around if you are in an actual straight position and not moving, you can also use the Alt key for free look camera a bit so that you can look around. 
if you think that you might have something behind you. Just as you can see, take note that if you press the Alt key, you might make some quick movements when you stop pressing the Alt key. Okay, so you've landed it here now. Wonderful. Those are the basics of flying the helicopter. Um, another tip that I can give you is remap your E key, so remap your um, action key. Because as embarrassing as it is to me, it has happened to me quite often that because I'm used to turning with E and Q that I have jumped out in the middle of flight and that way lost in a helicopter. So you might want to remap that to a different key like F or L or something that is far away. Um, apart from that, the helicopter has four seats, the pilot, co-pilot, which does nothing, and two back seats. And... Uh, you can put panels on the helicopter to give it some PVE protection. You also have a small inventory, as you can see here, and it uses AV gas, and in my opinion, it uses a very, very little uh, gas. So you can mostly with two or three gas gas uh, get across the whole map and back in most cases. Another tip that I can give you with this helicopter is especially in the beginning, don't take anything with you because you are very likely to crash and even in the later game, take nothing with you that you can't afford to lose because it is quite easy to flip a little bit of a mountain or something and that will cause your helicopter to spin out of control and then you will die and all of your stuff will be gone unless you can make it there in time. So that's my tip on that. If you have any questions or would like me to explain anything further, do write it in the comments and I will answer as soon as I can.